What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel, smash a like on the video, please hit the subscribe button, we're so close to 13k now, we're so close, we were featured on Cracks over on YouTube, go and check out Cracks' YouTube channel, absolutely massive, massive channel over there, and uh, by the way, big shout out to Don Robbie, um, I didn't know, but I'm out, uh, out on delivery, right, because you know I'm a postman by day, I'm out there on delivery, I get home, and Winx has messaged me, and he says, he said, Chappers, You've drawn Belgium. I'm like, what are you on about? Don Robbie, Robbie Lyle, has got 24 influencers, okay, name in a pot. He's pulled them out for a draw for the Euros. I got Belgium, okay? If I win, he's going to send me a PS5. Absolutely balling. So I can support England for my own, you know, country and my own national pride. But I can also follow Belgium through the Euros because I win a PS5. I've got Yuri Tielemans, I've got Castagna, and I've got Dennis Pratt to go along with it. Madness. The Foxes, win-win for me. I'm, I'm buzzing. Anyway, today's video, let's talk. According to reports from Voet Ballzone, Leicester City are considering making a move for Bournemouth winger Dan Juma during the transfer window. The report claims that the Foxes are likely to face competition from Wolfsburg and Lyon to sign the 24-year-old. Now, he's had a sensational campaign in the Championship last season, bagging 17 goals. 17 goals. That's, that's, that's a decent stat, boys. 17 goals and 8 assists in 37 appearances. That there is what I call future progress as a, as a baller. That is a baller. In fact, what I'm going to do while I'm here, I'm going to have a quick look at, his, at what his transfer fee would roughly be. Because he's a winger in the championship, as we know. Let's have a look to see what he, he's worth. Mm. A reported £13.5 million in 2019, Bournemouth would expect a sum of around £20 million. And you know what Leicester are like at the minute with the Euro Europe competition uh, in Europa. Uh, and obviously Leicester want to drive forward to the Champions League spots, top four finish in the Premier League. I think Leicester are going to spend big this, this summer. Um, and uh, he scored both of the Cherries goals in the playoffs uh, against winners Brentford, but couldn't help his side getting promoted as well, which is <laughs> funny enough, Cherries. I think Leicester could cherry pick him out of that side. Um, West Ham are also linked with him including Southampton too, are reportedly keen to, to secure his signature. Brighton, uh, Watford, Wolves, Lille are also on the hunt, according to TeamTalk.com. With Bournemouth staying in the Championship for another year, Dan Juma may not be willing to stick around. Why would you want to if you can play in the top flight of English football? I think the Foxes is a bloody good shout for this one, especially when several clubs are looking for his signature. A move abroad could be tempting for him too, especially at Lyon where he will get a taste of European football. But his standout performance, obviously, um, in the Championship last season, the biggest move would, would be for him to go to Leicester with Europa League football. He has one of the standout. He was one of the standout performers in the Championship last season. West Ham enjoyed a superb 2021 campaign where they finished sixth in the Premier League table. They also would like to seek this man as well. Um, what do you think, boys? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on this link towards Bournemouth winger Dan Juma. Do you know much about him? Is he a baller? He sounds a baller to me. 17 goals in and 8 assists in 37 appearances last season for Bournemouth. Getting 2 goals in the playoffs as well. In the playoff final against Brentford, which unfortunately they did lose. But maybe not unfortunate because maybe because they lost, we could maybe buy him. The reason why this has got some... I think this has definitely got a little bit of truth behind it. Is because of his age. He's 24. And Leicester are looking for that winger still. That winger. Because... We lost Riyad Mahrez to Man City and we just didn't replace him. You think, you look back at the players that we've had tried and failed. 
we've had Damari Gray, who just didn't work out. It just didn't. A decent player, but just not Riyad Mahrez. Then we had Gazal, Raki Gazal, who's, don't get me wrong, doing fantastic on his loan spell right now. But it's just not, he's just not Riyad Mahrez. And then there's The Undertaker. We brought Kengez Under in from AS Roma. Bring him in, expecting this illustrious, fantastic player. He just doesn't perform. I think his best performance was against Arsenal when he, he came on and he, he created that, that, that header for Vardy and we got the winner. That is about all I can come up with for Kengez Under in, this, in the season that we've had him on loan. Uh, he's just underperforming. That's why Leicester just didn't decide to put pen to paper for him. So when you think this guy is 24, he's you know PSV, he's been with Club Bruges, uh, made 21 appearances for Club Bruges in 2018-19, so five goals, uh, and then he's been Bournemouth since 2019. Um, you know, 47 appearances all in, 15 goals all in, in since 2019. And he's got some international experience as well, by the way. He's got two caps for, for the Netherlands and a goal as well. I think there's got to be a little truth to this because he's the sort of player that I think Leicester will look at trying to pull in. I want your thoughts on this. I'd like this one to come over the line, to be fair. I want a winger. I want someone that will perform down that side. Because Marco Brighton's getting older and older and older. I don't know how Brendan's going to pull in, you know, once we've got James Justin back and we've got Luke Thomas in the squad, in the fold, if we've got Ryan Bertrand in the fold, if we've got Ricardo Pereira and we've got Castagna as well. I don't know where all those players fit in with uh, acting as wing-backs or, or wingers. So I just want to see a, a true winger. This guy's not the defensive winger. This guy's an attacking winger. And I want to see it happen. I want to see this happen. Um, please smash a like on the video, please. Hit the uh, subscribe button if you're new to the channel. And drop your comments in on this one. Uh, do you think it's true? Do you think the, this is just another media click for me to click and read out to you boys? Or or is this one, this one got some heat to it? Let me know in the comments. And I'll see you on the next video, guys. Make sure you smash the like on the, every video that you watch. And look, we're going to do Euro stuff. We're doing daily videos here on the channel. And uh, a big shout out once again to Cracks for getting me over the line on that channel. And Don Robbie as well for putting me in the PS5 draw. We got Belgium. The Foxes got Belgium. Belgium got the Foxes. I'm in this to win it. If England don't win it, I'm going to be chanting on the Belgium boys for the PS5. <laughs> Cheers, guys. I'll see you all on the next vid. Stay safe out there. <laughs>